on the far southern tip of Indiana, resting along the banks of the Ohio River, is a very unusual place. That place is Rose Island, a part of Charlestown State Park. In its history, the area has been the site of an army ammunition plant for World War II, a theme park, a weekend picnic area, and some say where European explorers built an ancient castle over 300 years before Christopher Columbus landed in the Americas. The way to Rose Island is not incredibly well marked. But, if you turn right after the gatehouse, and then left at this sign, it says, Trails 3 and 4, it will dead end at the parking area. A friendly kiosk tells the Rose Island story. The most important thing to read is the warning. Please consider your physical condition before taking this trail. The trail is paved and looks easy going down. However, there's a mile of winding trail you cannot see from the trailhead. There's also a 70 foot drop in elevation and the incline hovers around 30 degrees. It is a tough one to climb back up. I cannot stress this enough. When you see the Portersville Bridge, you're about to cross over to Rose Island in a place of history and legends. The bridge crosses 14 Mile Creek. It's well known for stories about lost treasure buried along its banks or in caves. Starting on the pole here and all over Rose Island, you're shown how high the water was during the Great Flood of 1937. Just across the bridge is a sign expanding on the Rose Island story. If you stay on the well worn trails, you're not likely to get lost anywhere but in your own imagination. As early as the 1880s, local residents started having picnics here and called it Fern Grove, as so many ferns grew here. Businessman David Rose saw how so many people came to Fern Grove for recreation and realized the money-making potential. By 1927, he renamed the area Rose Island and built a 118-acre theme park that was amazing for its time. People could easily travel to Rose Island in style on the steamboat Idlewild. Guests were greeted by a majestic gate leading inland. They could stay at a hotel
or summer cottages facing the water. There was also a large dining hall to feed guests. But that was only the beginning. There was a large open air dance hall. A pony track for the kids. And what many consider the first in-ground swimming pool in the state of Indiana. On top of that, there were caged birds, monkeys, a carousel, golf, and if you just wanted to sit outdoors, enjoying the gentle breezes of the Ohio River, there was that too. But in 1937, an epic flood overtook everything along the Ohio River. Cincinnati, Louisville, and Charlestown were overwhelmed with water. Rose Island was submerged, and everything was destroyed. Hiking Rose Island today, you find a ghost town that's eerily quiet. Random structures are found everywhere, some marked and some not. Ships pass by, but none stop at the gate welcoming guests. It is truly a ghost town. High above the main trail is a very interesting area called Devil's Backbone. Engineers in the 1800s found what they described as ruins of an ancient European castle looking over the valley below. Geologists later drafted a detailed map, calling it Stone Fortifications and Mounds. In fact, they noted all kinds of man-made fort walls on Rose Island calling them artificial stone walls. Looking up, you can definitely see stone at the top of Devil's Backbone. One segment looks like it was cut from the natural rock. There is some natural stone stratification, but much of it does look like cut stones that were stacked by human hands. You can definitely see how building here would provide a commanding view of the river. You could see anyone coming from miles. That's a very common feature of European castles.
many local folklorists tell the legend of Prince Madoc. It says he and Welsh colonists came to America in the year 1170, 322 years before Christopher Columbus. If so, that would explain a European castle in Indiana. According to the story, in 1799, six ancient skeletons were excavated along the riverbanks of Jeffersonville, Indiana. These skeletons supposedly had breastplates that contained Welsh coat of arms. However, no one knows where even one of these breastplates are today. But more importantly, where is this castle now? Legend has it that these large castle stones were used to build area homes and bridges. It's said that the base stones that support the Jeffersonville, Indiana Big Four Bridge supposedly came from the castle. Rose Island is a great place for nature, history, and legend lovers. There's something awe-inspiring about walking through abandoned places. A mysterious place with secrets that may never be told. <laughs>